Hey chess enthusiasts, hope you're doing well. I just want to share my experience where play against Dr. Chess, a super strong chess engine known for its advanced skills, I had a thrilling game today, especially after I made a daring move and sacrificed my queen, it really spiced up the match, and you may know that I opened my new YouTube channel where I share my chess courses which can make you grandmaster, subscribe the channel after watching this video and let's dive into the fire. I started the game with e4 and Dr. Chess played the French defense winner with variation, you should try this opening in your games to improve your chess vision, a very masculine defensive opening. Black played b6 to develop his bishop on a6 or b7, the knight can come into the f5 square and target the center, however, Black had an another choice, such as c5, play c5 and after take take queen c7, white have two main lines to prepare attack in kingside, but we will play knight f3 to throw dust in the opponent's eyes, bishop d3 center exchanges and if black dare to capture the pawn by sacrificing his knight, in order to play queen c3, a massive reply to attack the three pieces at the same time. Don't be fool, play queen d2, because if he captures the knight then he will lose his queen after you play bishop b5 check, and if he dares to capture the queen, I will break his 206 bones into 300 bones after c3, and knight to b3, the queen is trapped and you will get plus 10 elo in your fide chess account, and like my video now because it's not just a chess video, it's a war over the board, b6 by black as I told you, queen g4 and playing king f8 or g6 is as bad as you fart in a serious meeting time, lol. Have you ever tried that? You should go to a doctor which is why doctor played bishop to f8, it's not a bad move to retreat the bishop in his home place, knight c6 to go to b4 and attack the c2 pawn while protecting the d3 square from bishop entry, so I dropped back my queen because there was nothing wrong with that move, he retreats his bishop, I retreat my queen, all are the best moves, but if you retreat your piece to his home square, then it would be a mistake because humans are not capable of playing chess, knight a5. Looking for c4 outpost, c5 can break the structure and engage the bishop snipers to fire in this diagonal, knight g3 take take and shouldn't play like a human although you are a human, in chess, you have to think like computers, analyzing every move, considering what my opponent would like to play, then deciding what I will play and what the results will be, if you play naturally to make castle, bishop e3 will arrive, castle and I will sacrifice my bishop on h7, king takes bishop knight g5. The king can't move back because of queen h5 deadly lion's jaw attack, king h6 and give him a discover check, backs queen h5 king g8 knight g5 and how can you stop checkmate, even thou bishop takes knight would relief the file and make a strong checkmating threat, so back to the position, we have h6 bishop g3 c5 castle, the pawn cannot be taken, let me show you why, take queen c7 then I will play knight b5, I am pretty sure that you would like. To capture the pawn, what about c4, it feels like beating your own legs with an axe, queen c4 and look at the position, bishop e5 and knight c7 are the strongest threats to black's game, the file will open up for an attack on f7 after the bishop moves to c5, and your king is still in the middle of the board, it's deadly, like you mistakenly cuts your finger with a nail cutter, so in this position, doctor played c4 because he have all the medicines of all issues, and do you know. One generation plans the tress, another gets the shade, this analogy suggests that the efforts and actions of one generation lay the foundation for the benefits enjoyed by future generations, knight to g1 to push the g-pawn, and target at the e6 weak pawn, so bishop c6 followed by g4, the pawn shouldn't take because the e6 pawn will be a backward pawn, so doctor captured the a-pawn, take and you shouldn't capture the pawn with rook because it will meet up with the bishop takes knight h3 knight a5 queen ups, threatening to capture the pawn, so black had to play bishop h4, he had no choice, bishop takes pawn is still a threat, doctor said, come and capture my pawn because I have a special injection to put in your back, can you guess black's nice move, he played, bishop e8, trapping the queen in this pipe, what a mind blowing move in human eyes to trap the stockfish queen, I had to play bishop g5, his queen runs from the attack but my queen can't escape so I captured the bishop. And look at this position, knight f4 bishop f3 are coming to attack on this pawn, white have nice compensation to play with actively and engage the rooks in this h-file which will be fantastic. 
And friends if you are enjoying my content then please like and subscribe to my channel, Doctor played c4 to open up the queen's diagonal which is the best move, knight b6 followed by knight to d8, he want to eliminate my knight, remember, when you down a material, your knight is more important than a bishop, because knights are the tactical piece who can fork the king and queen together, so eliminate the knight with your bishop, take c6, look at my strong position. These are two brave pawns supported by the knight, I have an open file and everything is going to my favor, queen e7 bishop g5 queen g5, move back your bishop to secure your position, e7 is coming and you might say, hey stocky, why no play another developing move, because the queen can easily capture the e-pawn, what about bishop check, king runs king g2 and how can you stop rook h1, the devil smile will appear in white's face. Kindness makes you the most beautiful person in the world no matter what you look like, so we have queen e7 rook e1 rook f6, black position is just in terrible condition, it remembers me the game of 2017 alpha 0, and stockfish, I utterly lost against him, but today if I had matches with him, I can eat him in my breakfast without salt, bishop g4 to involve the rook in this h file and bring the another rook on e5 to h5. So king f8, try to escape the king, but it's too late too wide for him, knight h5, attacking to the rook, you might think of capturing the rook, but what about rook takes f1, followed by rook to f7, if you dare to move the queen then it will be a checkmate in few moves, rook check king g8 knight f6, king to f8 rook f7 and that's it, your game will be over. Be humble, be hungry, and always be the hardest worker in the room, Dr. Chess is so humble but he have no surgery or medicine for this position, rook takes takes rook f1, the same tactic is coming which I just showed you, f5 rook takes pawn, rook f6 is coming and it would be a checkmate as I explained to you, he had to capture the pawn, and sacrifice the queen by the discover attack of the sniper bishop, wow, what a game, I have two pieces and pass pawn which will lead victory in few moves. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel then just subscribe to become a pro. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.